What is up everybody? I'm no Lux giving back with some more Hearthstone Battlegrounds. After five refreshes, find the golden monkey and we can play with Captain Hogger in a pirates game. I mean that seems that seems like a lot of fun. Start of combat plus two attack on everything permanently. No no no, Let, let's go with Hogger. We'll use the extra gold to do some extra rolls. We'll monkey around a little bit. This seems like a good choice to me. I did just play one game with this anomaly. I think like right before I pressed record. I just I just played one and I didn't record it. And it went okay for me. Wait, no, that was a different anomaly. I don't know. I I've played with this one. I think I did record with it. I can't remember what happened in it. I should also say, oh, 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 I get to roll because I bought a pirate. Do I lock another busker? Definitely not, right? Don't tell the others. Huh. Yeah, Busker's really interesting with Hogger. Because you get the cash right back. So if I were to buy this, I should have played this Busker. Then I could have bought this. As is, I think I just have to do this. And I probably shouldn't even lock here. Um... What I was going to say is it's very tired. I'm about to go to bed, and I just decided to play one game of Battlegrounds before I went to bed, because... Um, game fun? Uh, I don't know. I don't need a reason, but I figured I would load up the recording here and uh, see what happens. So five refreshes, and we got the Golden Monkey, and I guess I have a free refresh from... The Hogger Gold, that's going to be a little something. Those free refreshes will add up. I played up against a Gallywix followed by an AFK. That's really funny. Um, Galli or Galacron, Galacron rather. Galacron I don't think is great with this hero power. ETC is kind of held back. Shutterwalk's probably pretty good though. Get to Burgess, two things here. Refreshing Anomaly is kind of funny because it uh, will allow you to roll for the golden monkey once more. Honestly, I'm not super impressed. Do I just level up? Yeah, let's just level up. Why not? Why not, says the tired man. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm freaking out now. I just I just jumped because I think I think because something just fell off my desk when I picked up my water here. I'm bugging out. Let's set that back down. Keep All right. right. <laughs> this 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 one might get a little bit. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if the wheels fall off or if we manage to keep it all together by the end of it. So, some of those cards that my opponent just had are ones that I would love to pick up. South Sea Busker plus Gunpowder Courier. Love that. And now I'm probably just rolling twice, but the two extra gold from Hogger is going to allow me to activate Gunpowder Courier this turn. Could grab a Leeching Fellhound for free. That definitely seems like it's worth three health at this stage of the game. And there we go. There is my third roll for Zamonke. So if I purchased this, rolled twice, that would be five gold, right? And I'm going to have seven gold next turn. If I then sold the Fellhound, I could buy the monkey, grab a four, faceless it. Eh, that's kind of cute. Gives me a level five. Don't tell the others. So it gives me like four shots to find a cool pirate. And we're 
we're strong enough for now, right? I'm gonna be spending gold to make this play next turn, so we are gonna activate the gunpowder courier there. Nice now, if I find there. something good, if I find a cool pirate, I'll buy the pirate here instead. And that ain't a bad pirate, isn't it? <laughs> and then I'm locking on to Golden Monkey. So do I ever lock on to Golden Monkey level? Wait, I do... Yeah, level, and then I could make it a six drop. Maybe should have bought and sold this. Because now I'm wasting a gold here. So it's a little bit unfortunate to waste a gold, but next turn I buy the Golden Monkey, level up, right? Yes. And then play the Golden Monkey, discover a five which fives have lots of interesting pirates for me. Don't tell Underhanded me Dealer and Record Smuggler being the most exciting ones, but both of these ones being reasonable as well. And if I totally miss, then I'll Faceless Disciple and just pray that I hit the Fleet Admiral or... No, just the Fleet Admiral. Yeah, just the Fleet Admiral. But still... Battle. Pick yourself back up and turn it around. Alright, I think I just grab up Beat Impressionist here. Not super exciting, but totally acceptable. Probably just get rid of the faceless roll again. To activate that. Could sell three things to get a balladist in this turn. Mm. I think I'll lock these pirates. Probably not going to hang on to the Balladist, but I could to have it trigger the Impressionist. I guess the best four that I'm looking for is probably a three. Oh no, Peggy's a four. So Peggy, Blade Collector, it's probably I should just grab this Balladist here. You are not out of this yet. I mean, I'm definitely grabbing it. I'm just saying I should probably make it golden. Okay, looks like I'm not in as bad of a spot as I thought I was. I, I just 100% win this compile. Fair enough, and this is actually a ton of damage, too. Holy moly. Yeah, that's damage cap, baby. So maybe we are not in the worst position just yet, but we can get there. Don't you worry, we can get there. Let's grab this and this. Love this. I'll probably sell off the busker unless I can triple it right here. Ooh, here's a Peggy. So Peggy is now want to be the impressionist trigger. That's what I would have picked. I also have the opportunity to triple the Cannoneer. So, what is a little bit awkward here is I want to triple the Cannoneer, um, but I also want to get both of these out of my hand so that Peggy is what is guaranteed to be gold. In order to triple the Cannoneer, I'd have to sell both Buskers at this point. <laughs> and the Balladist. But 
I'm not sure that's worth it. So instead, I think I'm just going to be locking, selling one busker, and then putting the balladist maybe just on Peggy. So that way Peggy can stick around for a little bit of thing. Or not Peggy, Gunpowder Gal. Peggy's going to be gold in my hand. A lot of these things trade. This guy's a little bit small, but we still have some reasonable chances to make some trades here. Go here, nice. We find the one in three to tie there. Oh, it's okay. Now Golden Peggy gets to go a little bit zany. I think I'm just gonna get out of Busker. I wouldn't be caught dead. And now I kinda wanna go nutso with Peggy. Sure. Let's play that. Let's look again. Certainly, this is Disco Shuffler. Do I level up here and try to find better pirates for Impressionist next turn? Probably. Yeah, that seems good, actually. You down a minion and up a goal. Um, I kind of want to use the Balladist, but I guess I'm locking the monkey here. So I can either discover a Battlecry minion, or I can just trigger the Balladist and not really care about where it lands. Do I want to give all of my pirates six attack or one of my pirates a bunch of health? Let's just give all of my pirates six attack. No, they have enough attack. Let's do this one. And it triggers on itself, which is fine. Next turn, I'm going to buy the golden monkey. Golden monkey adds three cards to my hand, so it's pretty good with Peggy as well. This comp, I do think we lose two. Oh, the, the health actually helps me survive there, but... Oh, this has some extra health, too. Okay, maybe this isn't that terrible. Nope, this dies, and then I take, like, 15? No, 13. 13. Okay, well, I'm below the damage cap. But I feel like I'm in a decent spot. If I can find the level 6 pirate here, and we're up against the ghost... I feel like I am really, really doing it. Just cycle through this for Econ right now real quick. And then see what the monkey give me. That's a swing and a miss. I'd love to triple gunpowder courier. Hmm, maybe I should have went this route. Just hung on to some pirates for the upbeat impressionist with Drakari Enchanter. That's so good. Alright, I'm gonna try to make it work. That'll do some damage. Literally just wanted any pirate. I do find Dreadbeard here. And I don't find another pirate here, because I could have sold Zap and the Balladist to just buy any pirate, and then I get to Impressionist on it. So now if I find a pirate, which I do, I'd have to sell Zap, and then like Balladist and Gunpowder Gal. Maybe I sell these two? Yeah, they're my weakest cards. A good tactical choice. And I get one more free roll. I lock onto another monkey and a Vanessa. And I could take a Leeching Fellhound here as well. I probably should have. But we're going to make both of these things gold. And maybe that can, along with the Vanessa, give me some interesting stuff to do next turn. I'm going to lose the Drakari Enchanter. Oh, I hope I don't lose the, the game. 
Okay, they don't. <laughs> ETC lost the game, though. It's kind of crazy. That's typically a very good hero, but I would say these are all good heroes at the bottom of the lobby, and then... I mean, Reno, I think, is fun. Shutterwalk's also pretty cool, so... Keep up the pressure. Your mileage may vary. Probably just going to cycle through the Dread Beard. Do I want to pick up Vanessa? I feel like no. Oh, and especially end of your turn, I don't think I want to mess around with this in Jakari. It is actually kind of cool with Peggy. Right, well, now I will pick this up, especially only for two coin. It seems worthwhile. Good to get some minions in. How's Golden Monkey doing? Not good enough, unfortunately. I'll grab this, because it maybe triples easy, but... Oof. Okay, yeah. Swing and a miss on most of these here. No one crosses the uncrowned. Uh, this is probably too little too late, huh? I should have held that in my hand for another second. Uh, let's just roll. Blade Collectors. This is too little too late for Blade Collector? No, I don't think so. There's the Fleet Admiral, finally. I could just sell out of Peggy to play the Fleet Admiral if I want to. How are we doing? Okay, looks good, looks good. One in four to lose, and only one in five to take lethal. Seems pretty decent to me. Looks like a top. Great. So, next turn, I will get a Gold Fleet Admiral if I hang on to this. But is that too much to ask? I think so. Who did we just play against and what were they playing? Yeah, Elementals. I don't know. I feel like I want to try it. Oh, that means I can't hold pirates this turn, though, either. Yeah, I'm going to try to make this gold, though, still. All right, let's buy Peggy, see if we can find a third Peggy. Oh, right. Monkey. No more Peggy for me? No, but I do find another Blade Collector. Yeah, I feel like I have to cycle through these things. Just put in Blade Collector. I wouldn't be caught dead. The odds are in my favor. That's fine. Oh, let's play this. You didn't make the cut. Another Peggy. Yeah, I just want to make this gold. It's probably too much to ask, but let's see what happens if we make this gold. I get to sell out of... I don't know even what I sell out of, and then I'll just try to combo next turn and the momentum, hope that Gale Wing doesn't kill me here. Which they very well could just do. I don't know, they don't seem that strong. They're like kind of a weird scam-ish build, but I think I just have the stats and it's gonna line up well that I actually kill them instead. Cool, okay, and now I get to go crazy with the golden Tethys as Hogger. Did we do it? Did I make something happen here? I'm gonna, yeah, sell out of impressionist I think and try to go crazy with Peggy and the swipers here I'll probably wind up tripling these at some point uh, 
yeah, we're gonna have to sell through a few of our things this turn, so let's get going. That's not bad. For justice. I want that to have some stats, and now I just buy any pirates I see. I'm probably going to stop talking here for a moment. Decided to play that and nothing else. Uh, do I have any other pirates that I want to trigger that comes in the play abilities of? Not really. Let's give this a bunch of stats real quick. Give this a bunch more stats. Ah, didn't get it in, but... Oh, and I'm not playing a character down. That's pretty awkward. Hmm. <laughs> not really sure I can afford to play a character down. But we'll find out. 93% win? I guess I can. Okay. Okay, I see you, pirates. Still doesn't feel like I can afford to play a character down, but I guess I was able to do so. I'd love to triple the Blade Collector, love to triple Vanessa, but I need to get this in now. And that probably means cutting... Peggy? Your minions really pulled their weight. I'm not sure. Maybe Watch I just cut this thing? Nanos. Yeah, this is less scaling than anything else I'm working with. Justice. And I like the double fleet admiral, so I'm going to rock the double fleet admiral. Oh, this is insane, though, too. This is just way too much stats to pass up. Um, yeah, it's more stats than, than Peggy. This is like borderline a triple. This is a triple. Just always grab those. Um, Want a peanut, manners? Sure. <laughs> Target bracket. did I get this in one turn? How much gold did I spend here? Looks like... Okay, not that much. Do I lose? Do I lose for my hubris? Uh, 84% lethal. Alright, alright. Well, I did get rid of their... Wait, that was a really good hit. Is that enough to allow me to win? Oh, it is, isn't it? <laughs> I find the 0.5% win and lethal... Okay. And now I just have to make sure I spend as much of my gold as I possibly can. Your minions really pulled their weight. It's not the strongest, but it'll fight hard. I really want another of this thing. Good to 
get some minions in play. Down a minion and up a gold. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Oh, come on. I guess I'm infinite, huh? It's going to be a wonder if I can even manage to get enough things into play to end a turn. Please tell me I don't die to the ghost. Okay, great, great, great. They did space out their things well enough to play around Blade Collector, but looks like we are moving into the finals here. We do have an insane underhanded dealer. And I don't know. I found it. I feel like that might be the name of the video here. <laughs> Because I have found something absolutely busted right now. So anyway, I started blasting. That one might make all the difference. Let's see if we can find the last captain. No, not quite yet. What the heck was that? All right. Probably just going to cut Vanessa. It's too late to have really relevant scaling. We'll make a second Blade Collector, though, and we'll switch this order around. Oh, a Record Smuggler. There's the triple. Want a peanut banner? No one crosses the You're down a minion and up a goal. Target breaking. Come up. For justice. The door she blows. Golden teeth. Golden my house. I love catching the way. The door she blows. Should I try to find some last second scam to throw on the board? Probably. Tunnel Blaster might have actually been really good. Just play this Golden Monkey, try to spend some more gold. There's another Balladus. Turns over. Let's see if we made big enough blade collectors. We're not really scaling the blade collectors here, but it is still a really big blade collector. Looks like I'm 60% to win. If I win, I win. It's a huge underhanded dealer as well, and my opponent does not have any scams, so it looks like it could just be enough. It's just going to depend on where these attacks fall, and yeah, if I win, I win. So there we go. There is a first place finish with Hogger as a pretty crazy pirate's board. That's one of the better boards I think you can even put together here with double golden fleet captain. We're moving up here. We are starting to get some wins. That's going to be it for me today. I definitely played 30 pirates in that one. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm no luck's given. Peace.